Traditional sculptures stand in space, but they do not interrogate space itself. It was not until the 20th century that sculpture was understood as the shaping of space. From antiquity onwards, sculpture was defined by mass, gravity and volume. Modernism, however, declared the ideals of openness and transparency, weightlessness and emptiness, changeability and virtuality to be the primary formative properties. Under the impact of the Industrial Revolution, a fundamental change took place. New means of transportation such as the bicycle, train, automobile and plane suddenly enabled undreamed of speed and new experiences of space. Artists began to imagine sculpture which did not have the body as its starting point, but instead as originating from space. The great leap forward in development from sculpting bodies to sculpting space was not only inspired by new theories of space. Mathematical models too, which in the 19th and 20th centuries were constructed of filigree filaments, wire and plaster influenced artists. The relationship between sculpture and space is especially about free spaces hollow spaces, in-between spaces, and about mirror, light and shadow spaces, and virtual data spaces and sound spaces are also themes. The exhibition Negative Space presents over 200 groundbreaking artistic statements that develop and illustrate its underlying concept. As for instance, the installation Penetrable by Jesus Rafael Soto, the open spatial structure made of suspended fine synthetic strings is indeed penetrable and invites one to walk through it. This installation shifts the focus onto the visitor's movements. Time becomes the elementary factor. The strings that are moved outline the contours of the visitors. The artwork comes into being through the act of penetration. Flux is the title of a dynamic sculpture by Shilvinas Kempinas. In a dancing movement, two magnetic tapes float freely in ingenious balance above the pedestal. They constantly surprise viewers with each new flowing movement. Carried by moving air, they offer an elegant game with physical phenomena. An architectonic net of strings, line segment space, was created in 2013 by Kimchi and Chips. This artist duo blurs the borders between the material and the immaterial world. In modernism, the line became independent. It changed from being a resource of painting to a resource of sculpting. Whether as a rigid geometric shape, organically curved, or as multipartite network, as a line in space, it becomes an independent work of art. Sculptures by the media artist Fujiko Nakaya are literally unique ephemeral artworks. In Cloudwalk, the moving fog constantly redefines space. While doing this, it becomes increasingly transparent and less visible until ultimately it vanishes completely. 900 nozzles and environmental factors ensure that microscopically small droplets create a sculptural event a spontaneous negative sculpture. In the development of the negative sculpture, emptiness, the void, becomes a key characteristic. For the Belgian sculptor Georges van Tongelu, space is the result of combining volume and void. To him, the volume and the void in space are equal. The artistic material for negative sculptures and negative installations are air and the void. Water and invisible magnetic forces are among the means utilized, and also shadows. The shadow is the negative form of light. The artist Man Ray insisted that the shadow is just as important as the real object.
To accord the development of the spatial sculpture the space due to it means nothing less than to tell the real story of modern and contemporary sculpture. The exhibition palpably demonstrates what distinguishes sculpture of the 20th and 21st centuries from the sculptural tradition of previous centuries.